today our dear pupils in class 10. Are you ready for English lesson? Good job! Today we have lesson 2A, World Literature. Before starting our lesson, dears, let's revise our last lesson. Your home task was activity 6. In this activity, you had to answer the questions about your favorite book and send to your teacher. Questions were, who is the author of this book? Where do the events happen? Who are the main characters? The most exciting part of the story? The last one, who would this book be best suitable? Dears, please open your notebook, write down uh, revision and write the questions like we did at our last lesson. Please leave space for answers because I have video. In this video, you can listen about Shohadad's favorite book. By the way, you have to answer the questions. Are you ready? Please write questions and leave a space for answers between them. Good job. Let's listen in that case. Let's watch together. Hello, my name is Shahadat and today I want to tell you about my favorite book. Firstly, books are important things in our life. They make our life easier to lead as they inform us about various ways of leading life. Growing up, my parents and my, uh, my teachers uh, always encouraged me to read. I have read several books. However, uh, one, uh, however, one book that will be always my favorite is Otkian Kurlan. This book was written by Abdullah Qadri and uh, it is a story about people which was lived in 18th and 19th century in Tashkent and in Margolan. Uh, the main characters of this book are Otabek, Kumush, Zainab, the mother of Otabek, Uzbekoyim and others. The book is about love, about respect for, um, for family, for parents and about uh, lifestyle of poor people. Uh, there are many exciting events in this book, but the moment which I love is the time when Otabek and Kumush uh, show their respect for their parents. Uh, maybe this book is good for teenagers and for young people and I recommend uh, you to read this book. Thank you, dears. So, did you like the video? Good job. Let's check your answers. Questions were, the first one, who is the author of the book? Where do the events happen? Who are the main characters? The most exciting part of the story? Who would this book be best suitable? Here you can see answers. The first one. Utkyan Kunlar by Abdullah Qadri. Tashkent and Margolan. Otabek, Kumush, Zainab and others. Otabek and Kumush's respect to their parents. The last one for teenagers. Please. Open on page 162, activity number one. In this activity, you can see the table. Your task, find seven words about word literature. As you can see, it takes long time. Let's leave it as a home task. You can do this activity after our lesson. Let's move activity number two on this page. It is a usual task. You have to match the words and their definitions. Pay attention, words are given in numbers and definitions are given in letters. Your task, put six numbers and write suitable letter like 1A, 2B and etc. You have 20 seconds for this one. Time is going. Did you write? Good. Let's check together. The first word is camp. Place with temporary accommodation of hunts, tents. Forest. Good job. It is a large area covered chiefly its trees. What about the word wild? I'm definitely sure you know it. 
living or growing in the natural environment. What the word travel? Good job. Make a journey typically of a small lands, native. Person born in a specified place or associated with a place by birth. What the word frizz? Thank you. Extremely. So, dears, activity number three. This is listening task. You have to decide the sentence true or false according to the audio. Before this, you have to write down seven numbers and you can write T for true and F for false. Please put seven numbers again. Are your numbers ready? Good job. Let's listen. T20. This story is about a wolf called White Fang. White Fang was born in the wild in an area called Yukon. This area is in the northwest of Canada. There are lots of mountains and rivers in the Yukon and the land covered with forests. You can travel for hours without seeing people or houses. Winters in the Yukon are very cold and very long. In some areas, the ground is frozen all year. Many animals live in the wild there. For example, bears, moose, porcupines, weasels, and squirrels as well as wolves. White Fang was written in 1906. At that time many Indians, native or first people lived in the Yukon. They lived there long before white people. The Indian killed moose and rabbits and they caught fish. They lived in the camps and sleep in big tents. The tents were called tipis. The Indians traveled around in long boats called canyon. Or they traveled on a sleds pulled by dogs. Thank you so much. Did you write true or false for each sentence? Good job. Let's check together. The first one. Yukon is situated in Canada. Yes, it is true sentence. What about second? There are a lot of houses and people. No, it is false sentence because uh, you can travel in this place without seeing uh, any house for hours. And the third. This area covered with forest. Your answer? It is true sentence. White Fang was written in 1906. Thank you. It is also true sentence. What about fifths? White people leave it before Indians. Thank you. It is false sentence. The Indians add rabbits and fish. True sentence. Seven. This story is about wolf. It is also true sentence, dears. Let's move activity number four on page 163. In this activity, you have to try find out the writers of these novels. Novels are The Deeds of Heart, Magus, Loving, Sherlock Holmes, White Fang. So, again, you have numbers and letters. You can just match 1A to B like this. Five seconds enough? Good job. Let's check together. The first author, Jack London, was an American author and journalist best known for the adventure novels White Fang. He was born on January 12, 
1876 in San Francisco, California. He had several jobs like paperboy, journalist, gold miner, and etc. He is author of White Fan. Other Cannon Dial. Leave it from 1856 till 1930 was a British writer and medical doctor. He created the character Sherlock Holmes in 1887, the first of four novels and more than 50 short stories about Holmes and Dr. Watson. Our third author, John Fowles. John Robert Fowles Leave it from 1926 till 2005. Was an English novelist of international stature. The Magus is a postmodern novel by John Fowles, telling the story of Nicholas Urf, a young British graduate who is teaching English on a small Greek island. The next one. Elizabeth Boone. Leave it from 1899 till 1973. Was an Irish and British novelist and short story writer, notable for her fiction about life in wartime London. The Deeds of the Heart is a novel by Elizabeth Boone set in the interwar period. The last writer, Henry Green. Henry Green was the pen name of Henry Winsett York. He lived from 1905 till 1973. An English author best remembered for the novel Living and Loving. He published a total of nine novels between 1926 and 1952. Did you check your answers? Were they true? Well done. At our next activity five, on page 163, you have text about William Shakespeare. Let's read together. Then I have an activity filling gaps. That's why, dears, pay attention to the main data of the text. Are you ready? Did you open this page? Let's read. William Shakespeare was born in Stateford on April 23, 1564. His father, John Shakespeare, was an important man in the town. William didn't come from a poor family. When he was 18, William married Anne Hathaway in Stateford. But he didn't want to stay there. He wanted to be an actor, and the best theaters were in London. So, in 1587, William went to London where he worked as an actor in a theatre called The Rose. He began to write plays for the actors. He wrote Romeo and Juliet, Julius, Caesar, Richard II, Antony and Cleopatra, and others. Everyone liked his plays and he became famous. When James I became a king in 1603, Shakespeare worked for him and performed his plays for the king and his friends. He also worked at the famous Globe Theatre. His last play was presented, it was Henry VIII. There was a gun in this play and the fire from the gun burned the theatre down. In 1611, Shakespeare went back to Stateford. He wanted to live there with his family, but he died on April 23, 1616. He was only 52 years old. Okay, dears, I have fill in gap activity. What do you think? Which word was in the first gap? Thank you. It was April. What about second? What data it was? 1564. When he was? Good. 
18, he wanted to be an actor and the best theatres were in London. The next, he worked as an actor. The next, he began to write plays when Good job. James I became a king in 1603. Have you finished it? Good. I have listening task, Rami and Juliet. Before listening task, you have to look at the picture which shows a sense from Rami and Juliet by William Shakespeare 500 years ago, but there are 12 mistakes. You should find out 12 mistakes. Here, the picture. Please look at 50 seconds and find out 12 mistakes. Are you ready? Good job. Did you find mistakes? Let's check in that case. Okay, well, they didn't wear rollerblades 500 years ago and they didn't ride scooters, so that's two mistakes. And they didn't use mobile phones or listen to music on their MP3 players. Where? Here, look. Oh, yeah. And they didn't read newspapers then. Are you sure? Yes, of course I am. And they didn't have clocks either. No, OK, if you say so. Oh, look, and the man on the wall's got trainers. They didn't wear trainers 500 years ago. No, you're right. What else? Well, they didn't eat burgers, did they? Oh, no. And they didn't drink fizzy drinks. Look, that says cola. Oh, yes. OK, so how many have we got? The rollerblades, the scooter, the burger, the fizzy drink, the clock, the newspaper, that's six. Mm -hmm. The trainers, the mobile, the MP3 player, nine. What else? This is getting hard now. Mm. Oh, look, the little boy's got a toy aeroplane. <laughs> they didn't have aeroplanes in Romeo and Juliet's time. Oh, and the man on the scooter has got a baseball cap. Look. Oh, yes. Well, they definitely didn't have baseball caps then. So that's 11 mistakes. What's the other one? I can't see anything else. Can you? No. This is really hard. Yeah. Oh, I know. The man on the scooter's got sunglasses. Look. Under his baseball cap. Oh, yes, you're right. And they definitely didn't wear sunglasses in those days. So that's 12 mistakes. Thank you. Did you check? Were you right? Good job. In that case, dears, it is time for homework. Your first homework, as usual, make a list of vocabulary which you have learned today. Second, read the text about William Shakespeare and learn the facts. At our next lesson, I will check your understanding. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.